so I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's me, Nick Avocado. And today we're gonna be um, trying to get over Orlin by talking about Orlin. I feel like when you go to seek help for something, they say talk it through. The more you talk about, the more you get over it. You can move on. And I know I'm only on day like four of being kind of left here, but let's talk about it. Um, today's video is dedicated to Orlin home and uh, I'm gonna eat his favorite food. His favorite food's probably dumplings, which I filmed yesterday. Um, but today we're going to be having pizza, which is probably his second favorite food. If I had to pick one, it'll definitely be pizza. Follow my Twitter at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. I'm going to be answering your Instagram questions from yesterday. Um, it's been about 24 hours. I have to do it before it deletes, because, you know, Instagram stories only stay up for like 24 hours, so. Anyways, um, let's talk it through, let's hang out, let's eat some pizza, and let's, um, I'm here. I'm showing up, you know, I'm showing up. So here we go with my song. I'm back home. Shoo be doo. I'm home. Hello, I'm back home. Shoo be doo. I'm home. Hello, and this is odd and steamy. Cause we're eating Orlin's favorite food. Okay, I have goosebumps now. I don't know why this is so dramatic. Why is my life so dramatic? Everything has to be a drama. <gasps> Okay, here are my little risers. This is what I put the food on. Did I say that already? Oh, no. Um, I put the food on top so you can see it better. And then we eat together. Um, so, yeah, thank you to, for all the birthday wishes. My birthday was like a week ago. It's still, it's kind of crazy because my actual birthday was not very good. <laughs> Lots of back and forth with Orlin. And, um, but I, the only probably, the only good thing that came from my birthday, it wasn't, uh, because it's the stupid lockdown. Like, I can't even go out. I can't even go out. I can't even just, you know, clear my mind and go to the mall. Just walk around the mall. Say, hi, get, you know, smile to other people. Everyone has a mask on. You can't even see them smile. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a robot ro twilight zone. It's so sad. So my birthday was actually not very good. The only good thing about my birthday was all you guys that wished me happy birthday. That was really sweet. Um, so thank you if you wished me happy birthday. I probably read your comments. I've been reading comments for hours. And I um, also the people who paid for cameos. That was really sweet. I got so many cameos were like, Nick, it's your birthday. You don't even have to make me a video. I just love you. I'm like, <laughs> I'm still gonna make you something. Um, like yesterday, I made a video waking up. Some guy was like, uh, I actually remember his name, but I don't wanna say here. I don't know if he wants a shout out. Some people want it private. I don't know, was it private? We're gonna post on my cameo. Anyways, he's like, it's your birthday, I love you so much. Um, I just wanted to give you something to show that, you know, I've been watching your video for ages and happy birthday. And I'm like, well, this is just gonna be me being me. And I literally was waking up, I was taking off my CPAP mask. My hair was a mess, my eyes were scrunchy. The bed was all like whack. And I was like, hi, good morning, rise and shine. And he could see, I, I did have clothes on, so that's good, but I was, I was, I was like, hopefully oh, there's nothing in the room, like, sus like weird, suspicious, like, you know, like an adult toy or something. Like, oh, that's there on the floor. Oh, my God, look at that. Um, so things like that, you know, that really made my birthday special. I got a lot of um, support from other YouTubers who reached out to me privately. Um, talked to some of them on the phone. Lots of them uh, texted me and stuff. Some of them I didn't hear from, but I do not take it personally. Listen, we are all very busy, and I can't tell you how many people's birthdays I've forgotten. I, even, I don't even know. You know, you have to be... You know, so don't hold that against people. Um, I think I kind of did that in the past, where it's like, wow, this person didn't, you know, say happy birthday to me. I definitely think in the past I would have been upset by that. But now that I'm older and I'm a little more mature, oh, you're like, uh, Nick. But I, now that I'm more of an adult and I've experienced through life and I've missed people's birthdays, I sit back and say, why well, didn't miss their birthdays because I don't value them or I don't like them. It's just that they're not the only person in my life and I have so much going on in my life. And the only way for me to know everybody's birthday is everything, every single person I meet or every single friend, where it's a close friend, acquaintance, kind of a friend, a friend of a friend, I just have to ask their birthday and write it on my calendar. And every single day I'm shouting out someone for someone's birthday because someone in the world, someone has a birthday. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, and I'm trying to like, kind of like wean off social media. So like now I'm on Instagram all really sad. I'm like going through a couple photos and stuff and thinking like, wow, I could have had this, I could have had that. And, um, being on Instagram, you know, I just, I actually caught like two of my friends' birthdays just because I happened to be on Instagram. But honestly, I probably would have never known if I didn't happen to see. So don't, this is a little lesson for everyone. Don't hold it against people for not knowing your birthday. Seriously. Um, 
unless it's like your mother or your husband, then yeah, it's like, okay, <laughs> you should know that one. But with a friend, or even, even a close friend, I have some friends from college that I talk to probably once a month, once every two months. Now, well, some of them definitely once a month. Um, even some of my exes, I talk to all the time. I don't even know their birthday. Like, I'm being honest with you, they're probably gonna hate me if they watch this video. I don't know their birthday. And they're such valuable people to my life. So it's kind of like, it's really not big of a deal if they don't remember a day. People remember a year over a day. Let that be known. People remember how you make them feel for a year's time over a day. Like, imagine if you ignored someone or barely talked to them for a whole year, then, happy birthday, sweetie, and you send them, like, a little card. It's like, oh, thank you. But then you have that friend that's in your life. They're there for you. They talk to you often, and they help you through your problems, and um, you have you just enjoy t company with them, and uh, they didn't wish you happy birthday. What matters more? It's like Valentine's Day. My mom always said it's a hallmark memory. It's a hallmark, you know, made up holiday where people can be awful to their partner their whole year and then Valentine's Day, they make it up with roses and kisses. And it's like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. So it's, it's the time that counts. People in this world really fixate over the littlest things. I see that as a YouTuber. Like people are upset that I'll say, so, I'll say one thing out of line and totally negate, or not negate, but totally you know, just, they don't, like, the, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, one thing's wrong. Like, a big, big scenario. Something's wrong. And people, instead of agreeing with that's wrong, they're agreeing on the one little mistake you said to prove that that's wrong, or to suggest that that's wrong, or just to talk about, like, I agree, disagree with this. Here are my reasons why I disagree with this. This wrong scenario. And I'm over here and I make one little slip up where I title it wrong, or I say some, one thing that's not right. Well, now everything's, like, doesn't count. You know, everything's disqualified. Ugh. People do that all the time. People, ugh, it's really weird. It kind of happened to me with the, um, well, I don't want to get into that all again. It has happened to me with, I didn't say someone's name right, but I sat and talked about how much, like, I thought they were good, or like, it was very admirable to see so many people who were moved by them and they felt touched by his presence on earth. And just, I went down the list of so many positive things about this person, but I didn't say his name correctly, or actually didn't even know his name, if I'm saying completely honestly, which I did. I was like, I don't even know. I mean, there's so much in my head at once, a million things. We scroll, 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 scroll. I can't know everything. And I don't think, I, that was my, where I did apologize. I'm like, maybe I should have bothered to learn it. You know, taking the time to learn the name or memorize it or at least look it up on my phone, which I didn't. I did, it just occurred to me and that's where I went wrong. But, 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 people did focus on the name over the context. You know what I mean? Which is very shallow, I think. It's very shallow. It's, the, it's like the girls who fall head over heels for the boys that give them flowers and take them out on a nice date for Valentine's Day. And their, their girlfriend's like, hey sis, that boy has done this to you, he's done this to you, he did this and this and this and this, and you're gonna be swooned over one day? How shallow are you? Like, you know, I, I think it's one bad thing with uh, humanity, how people do fixate on one little thing. And the rest of everything else, the context, the, not the words, but the actions, just how they the person has made them feel in their life, well, that's all, you know, discredited because one thing. It's just bad. Not everyone does that. I think smart people don't do that. But anyway, um, today we're going to be doing Little Caesars. And I'm going to be fixating on my ex. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I, to be honest with you, I don't even know what's happening. Because we have love for each other or like... We make plans as a couple, like I'm here in Florida, I don't wanna live in Florida, I did it to be with him. Like, we make plans together, we, and for him to just up and leave, it's kinda like, I don't know. Like for example, I was just watching Divine Munchies. She and Patrick have been split for what, a year or something? They're still not technically divorced, but they haven't seen or talked to each other. I just watched her live stream, shout out Divine Munchies. Um, oh, I miss her little chat. I don't know, she's gonna come out with something new, I can't, I can't wait to see. And I will be so to her, but, um, you know, everyone struggles in their own way. And I, I really, I do sense that she's, you know, I think she deserves the best. But anyways, all I'm trying to say is that she, someone asked her about Patrick. She's like, yeah, we're getting a divorce. I don't know when it's going to happen. He's in a different country now. I haven't talked to him for months and months. We're still technically married, but I don't know. What, like, that's what happens. It's not like, oh, we're getting a divorce, sign the papers tomorrow. We can't even talk to lawyers right now because of the stupid lockdowns. Like, it's, I don't even know. I haven't heard a peep. So I am very, like... The sense of abandonment, which I guess is my biggest fear because I was adopted and I kind of feel this already. 
how am I feeling um, left or abandoned, even without clarity? You guys know, that's hap that's kind of inked its way, a little slipped its way into real life scenarios for me where people don't show up or they ghost me. <laughs> and I guess I, I, it, it ruins me. Like I really feel very, um, and I mean, obviously yes, ghosting is bad too, even if you don't have abandonment issues. Um, because anyone that stood up for six hours is really not, you know, that's just not okay. But, um, <laughs> especially if they lie about the reasons afterwards. <laughs> but, um, in general, that really does play a pay, a play, a play, a play, play a part into why I'm extra dramatic about it. Because it really does pull at my heartstrings. Um, because I don't know my parents. I don't know if I have siblings. I don't know anything about anything in terms of that. And I love my family. I do have lots of siblings. But it's, um... It's something that you still will kind of be in the back of your mind as an adopted person. So this is getting really sad. Okay, so um, I'm not going to get this. This is being delivered. Guess who's using, uh, what do they call them? Um, delivery. <laughs> What's the English word? Clearly, I'm, I, I, like I said, I thought about doing a video called I Haven't Eaten for 24 Hours. Because I, I did my video uh, yesterday, that you saw yesterday. At like 2 p.m., the dumplings video, $100 worth of dumplings, or whatever I ended up calling it. Um, yeah, I called it $100 worth of dumplings. But I did change the title, and then I changed it back. So, um, that was that was like 1.32-ish yesterday. What time is it right now? May 24th, 5.20. 5.20. Um, so, I might even be editing this. I don't even know. I don't even know. Because this video has to come out in literally six hours, and that's going to be really hard. So I'm just going to, like, do it, up, import it, watch it, render it, upload it, do the thumbnail. I Hopefully I can get this done. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have exactly six hours, because I like to post around 11. <sighs> Thank you, coldest water bottle. For <laughs> the little thing fell off, the little rubbery thing. Um, But, yeah, I don't even know what to say other than... Here I am, I'm here, I'm breathing. I'm trying to be positive. Um, and I'm trying to just live a good life. I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. So that's why I'm like, I need your help right now. That's why I'm gonna be answering your questions on my Instagram, because I really don't know what to say right now. Like, I just wanna kinda eat. I don't even wanna eat. I had to force myself to eat yesterday. Um, I'm gonna lose so much weight from this, I'm so excited. <laughs> Like the best thing about this is I might actually lose some weight because I have to force myself to eat. When I'm, that's one difference in me and Orlin. When he was stressed, he'd eat a lot. And um, when I'm stressed, I don't want to eat at all. Even if it's not even th anything I did. Like I, when I used to make those videos about other people, like she did this and shit, which is a terrible way. I'm so glad I'm done doing those types of videos. I'm so glad I'm done about making videos about others like that. Yeah, I was entertaining with the teapot, but that that will really crush someone's spirits. You know, who might even be that way? So. Um, but yeah, I used to like not really have an appetite while making them. Not because I did anything wrong. I wasn't even in the situation. I was reporting on what she did. Or, you know, I can't imagine what the drama channels go through. Maybe they have no soul. I don't know. Or maybe they just don't eat. Are they all really skinny? I don't know. Maybe they eat their feelings. I don't know. All I know is for me, I couldn't really handle that vibration. And I, um, yeah, I just want to eat. <laughs> even though I, I, I felt stress from watching stressful things, I guess I could say. Does that happen to you? Are you guys stressed from watching my channel? See, this is really bad. I want people to come to my, my channel to escape their reality, to escape their stress, to watch someone enjoy life, or just just you know, just ramble and chit-chat. And yes, I'm itching my balls. Don't, I will wash my hands, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, this hand, I'm like, I'm like hiding it right now. Oh my god, sorry. It just really itched. Oh no, I did shower. <laughs> oh, it smells really good down there. I'm not gonna lie, I have this perfume. <laughs> All I gotta say is here I am. I'm here. I'm gonna hide my hand. Let me go wash my hand because now I told you. <laughs> uh, my teeth kind of hurt today a little bit. Very slightly though. I talked. I broke. I brushed on this yesterday. Today's day, what two, three of my new tray. Day three of my in it. Um, that's okay. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started with the eating show. I'm gonna wait for this to be delivered, and yeah, that's it. We're gonna eat and chat. So here we go. One, two, three. Thank you for being here. Bam! Hi everyone. Um, so here we are with Little Caesars. And it's really interesting. They started this new thing. I already opened this up. This came out of here. Um, so this is a new thing that they're coming out with all the restaurants. They have these little seals. I'll show you on this one. Okay, we have to talk. 
Look at here. It says clothes for your peace of mind. See this little sticker? So you have to like, it shows because of the Bud Light, you don't want the person who's delivering to go. <coughs> See, look, delivery. And you don't want the person to go, <coughs> you know, in it, which they might do. And so they close it for your peace of mind. Well, this one, look at the sticker. It's, it's on the other side. It's on this side. So I guess no peace of mind for me. That's okay. I'm used to it. No peace of mind with this one. <sighs> uh, we're not used to peace of minds over here. So, okay. <laughs> no peace of mind for me. So this one, see what I mean? You have to really yank it off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he loved this one. I love this one too. <sighs> ah. Oh my God. Oh, this is something new I've never had before. This is their little uh, pepperoni crazy bread. Yes, I got lots of sauces because we all have sauces. This is the crazy bread. I could have sworn it was a lot longer. Maybe I'm confusing it with the Olive Garden breadsticks or the Domino's. I haven't done Domino's forever. We have to do Domino's, but. It kind of smells like cats. And then here we have my sauces. You guys know marinara sauce gives me heartburn. Okay, we will feel through the pain together. But he loves marinara. And I got one of each, so two of each sauces. We got garlic, garlic, uh, buffalo ranch, cheesy jalapeno. We got regular ranch. Oh. We got crazy jalapeno. We got butter garlic. Oh. We're missing two sauces. Oh, no. <gasps> Here they are. Oh my god, I almost started freaking out. Yeah, we got all my sauces, two of each. <sighs> it's like, man, this is why I hate delivery. But, anyways. Let's begin the show. Let me get everything set up. There's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. No, this is a lot of food. I probably won't eat it all, but we're gonna try and answer your questions. Let's begin the show. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam. So the thumbnail is kind of funny because I just ripped this up for the thumbnail. I put this on the side. I'm really excited. I already had a bite. It's very delicious. Cheers. It's so good. Mmm. 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 I'm forcing myself to eat. I know that sounds really funny, but I seriously am. Because my, my my heart feels like, like I can feel it in my stomach. Mmm. Look at that cheese. Look at the cheese inside of here. Oh, look at that hole. Mmm. Look at that hole. Spicy, cheesy, cheesy jalapeno. Mmm. Mm -mm Now we're gonna do crazy bread. I mean the flat bread. I mean, what's it called? Thin and crispy. I need to do my big, deep three breaths for my own heart. This anxiety is gonna knock me dead. That's gonna be the irony. It's not the food, it's the emotions. Do you know overweight people have eight times higher rate of dying from being stressed or anxious or upset. Because things are pumping more fast, things are accelerated, hormone, hormones are risen, and if your arteries are clogged, you're gonna drop dead. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers to that. Um, I need like a little thing for this. I don't feel like getting up. Let's do our big deep three. Let's do our big deep three big breaths together. Because I need it today. <laughs> I'm gonna need it for a while. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And breathe out. 
Breathe in one more time. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And breathe out. I need a few more. Breathe in. Everything will be okay. Let's try this. I've never had this before. This is the crazy bread with uh, pepperoni. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> This is all very good. Let's do this. Very nice. So let me answer these questions. Let's do some marinara sauce, which is his favorite. I'm gonna have to take a break for a minute. My heart is accelerating. <clears throat> I feel very alone right now.
I feel like I'm forcing myself to eat. I'm gonna come back. <clears throat> I like cold pizza, I don't mind that. It's still hot now, but. Mmm. Crispy. It's so good. I don't know why I love this. It's very sedative. Oh! This all tastes way better to me than Pizza Hut. Way better. I just did Pizza Hut last week. I know I'm not making much noises right now. I just keep thinking of Orlin. I keep seeing his face. No, I'm kidding. I'm not okay. Um, <clears throat> I miss him. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a little break. I can't. Hi, I am back. 
thank you for not going anywhere. This has been here for about three hours, maybe four, maybe five, no. Let me show you what time it is. Um, it's 5.50, uh, excuse me, it is 10.50. Let me clear this so you can see. 10.50. <sighs> I don't feel a little bit better. Um, I talked to some of my friends. Shout out to my friends. Thank you so much for talking to me. Uh, sometimes you just need to like get your mind off things, you know, and it just, so I don't want to break the mood, so we're just going to eat. Ah, let's look where I left off. Wow, I actually ate half the pizza though. I mean, it, doesn't, it looks like all this food is still here, but I ate half the pizza, so. That's something. I actually love cold pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, so I'm reading comments under my dumpling video. I'm glad you guys liked it. I love dumpling. Oh, that sauce. I'm telling you, all the array of sauces. Mmm. You know, pizza places have great dips, and so do wing places. Wing places have even better dips. Mmm. I'm sorry. This tastes a lot better than Pizza Hut. I know I said it earlier, but... Mm. Just put it out there again. This is that spicy, cheesy jalapeno, isn't it? I used to say jalapeno. And then I learned it was jalapeno. Jalapeno. That's how you say it. Jalapeno. Okay. Let's answer these Instagram questions. Hmm. <laughs> How much D can you take? Oh my gosh, Dominican. This is very inappropriate, but I can actually take it really well. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Um, a lot of you have seen already, if you've signed up to my 18 years and older adult page out there. It's in. Anything to go through. Even a bullet train. Psh. The tunnel is ready. Anything. I mean, I take everything very good. Very, very good. So, then that answers your question. Hmm. What's the riskiest thing you've ever done in your life? This comes from Versa YouTube. Hi, Versa. Oh! Vice versa. Um. And, oh, in, in life. Okay, I thought I said it on YouTube. Well, we can name a bunch of things there. In life, I think living in Colombia was kind of risky. Well, that was very risky. I mean, anyone who looks like they're American is presumed to be rich and loaded and I mean I worried so much about getting snatched off the streets even though we were in a safer area at least we thought we were um I mean, it was like I couldn't speak the language it was kind of like sticking yourself and dropping you and like let's pretend you can't speak Arabic just dropping you in Afghanistan good luck bye <laughs> <You're> like, <gasps> you know it, I was, that was really risky you know I didn't speak the language I had no support group there no network no um Nothing. I depended all on Orland. And uh, I had a good time, but I also... One little thing could have gone wrong, and I could have been... I could have been dead. I mean, that's serious. So, do you regret anything in life? Um, hi, Glock. No, not really. I try not to. And the things... It's crazy, because I was just thinking the other day about a mistake I made about a year ago. And I'm at a place right now where I'm looking back. I don't want to go into it. It is pretty personal. Some things I can have pri to my pri for privacy, right? And I'm thinking back now like, oh man. But it led me to something else because I just did something and the, the person that I was coordinating with it said this and this opened up and I'm like, wow, I would have never gotten this opportunity if it weren't for that mistake. So it's like, sometimes it all plays out for the better. Sometimes. I mean, I don't regret any of my relationships. They all showed me different parts of life, different experiences.
I don't regret any of my friendships, any of my teachers, any job I've had. I just don't. I just, um, I don't know. I take, I'm, I'm in a good mood right now. Again, I talk to some of my friends and I just feel in a better space. Why are you overweight? Hi, James. Look at what I eat. <laughs> can you delete your social media because no one likes you? Hi, Cam. No, but you can unfollow. Maybe that's too hard for you. I don't know. Um, why do you do OnlyFans? This comes from uh, Mist. I have a website out there. As you guys know, it's for my adults, my 18 years or older viewers. And um, I do it because it's fun. It feels good to be appreciated appreciated in terms of the way I look. Mm-hmm. I know I come across as a very confident person on the internet, and I am. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of what I've done. <laughs> That's insert the clip of me screaming. <laughs> I'm proud of everything I've done. Um... But uh, there are parts, there are aspects where I'm not so happy with them. Obviously, the weight gain. I have my days where I love it, some days I don't. I like looking at thicker guys, but sometimes myself, I'm like, ah, I wish I didn't have this. But sometimes I love it. It's just, I've had probably one hater on that page, and I have thousands of followers, and it's like, I just, I always feel in a better mood every time I go there. It, it's, it's like medicine for me to keep, keep me going here on YouTube, where all the haters are. I mean, if you're paying to watch me there anyway, then clearly you're not that much of a hater. I did have this one guy who hated me, and I blocked him instantly, and I gave him a full refund. You can have back your $8. I don't care, <laughs> or whatever you paid, $10. You can have it back, because it's not worth, $10, $10 isn't worth you destroying our community over there, so. Refunded him, and blocked him. Um. Do you have a middle name? No. Why do you start OnlyFans? Uh, I just said. Are you gonna do more collabs with Trailer Trash Tammy? Probably. What's your favorite TV show? Law and Order. Um, why are you fat? Because I am. Why are you 300 pounds? Because I is. How many showers do you take each day? One. <laughs> I have done twice, and then someday, like, I might skip a day. So, it, it's pretty much every day. And the, days are, and the days I skip, before you get grossed out, it's because I'm stuck in the house because of the Bud Light issue. We're all locked up in here. And I'm seeing nobody. And I just am lazy. Or it's one of those days where I oversleep till 2 p.m. And I feel like going back to sleep. And I'm like, oh, I don't care. One of those types of days. Oh. What makes you truly happy? This comes from Karen Susie. Hi, Susie. What truly makes me happy would be music. And, um, I love mute. That truly makes me happy. I was going to say money. I'm like, I love money. We all love money. <laughs> I, yay, money. <laughs> but I don't think that gives me the truest sense of happy. I mean, it does feel good to make money. It feels good to earn it. It feels good to hustle. It feels good to see hard work pay off. And I've busted myself over the years. Um, but the best form of happiness is performing. For me. Performing music or listening to music. Why do you treat people the way you do? This comes from Queen Jane. Um, I'm assuming you're referring to the times I've treated bad people poorly. You're probably not saying that because of the things I've done nicely. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're referring to. I've made mistakes over the years. I've said things in the heat of the moment over the years. I've been... Um, I've been human, you know, like, I'm not perfect, and I've done things out of emotion over the years. Why don't you treat people the way I do? Um, there's my answer, you know, I, I, I don't know, it's probably bad day, thinking without, you know, thinking or doing before thinking, stuff like that. Hmm. Would you ever take a lie detector test? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, of course. I have nothing to hide. Hmm. Do 
Does it bother you that you have fans that extremely hate you? This comes from Sunflower Idiot. You know, Shane Dawson told me, those types of people who like hate, 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 they're just fans. They're the first ones to catch up. They're the first ones who need to know what you did, what you ate, what you said. And it, it's kind of like a reflective thing where I just take myself, I'm like, why does it matter what I said this day? How am I impacting the world? How am I that important? How am I influential enough where someone needs to race over to see, did I say something yet today? And if they're doing it to leave hate, it's doing it because it's like a guard or a mask because they don't want to admit they, you know, when you really dislike someone, you, you don't say anything. You don't give them the title. I can think of 50 people <laughs> that over off the top of my head, 50 people where it's like, I don't like them. Ew, I'm not going to think about you. I'm not going to mention you. I'm not going to talk to you. Like, bye. I've, I'm busy with my life. I got a good life to live. You know, it's like, that's where it's like, oh no, ew, I'm not going to engage. If people are engaging, like the haters, and I'm referring to probably 20,000 people <laughs> under these videos. Um, I mean, look at my thumbs downs. So it's like 5,000 thumbs downs, so like, or whatever it is. Maybe it's only two today. Yay. Um, those are fans. Those are people who think I'm worthy enough for their, I'm so worthy where I get a real estate in their head. Real estate. Here we go. Right there. Um, for free, for free, like, oh my gosh, you're giving me their, all this time and money and effort and watching everything and commenting everything for free. So I have to be thankful for them. I mean, they can hate all they want, but at the end of the day, they have an admiration for me, so. And that's why I am the most viewed mukbanger, American mukbanger on YouTube. Mmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wasn't by accident. Look at me dissecting everything. And I say that because I've done a lot of hard, hard work. I've made a lot of different channels. I've picked myself up over and over and over. I've tried again when things went sour. You know, I walked away from channels that didn't do well or didn't reward me back or I didn't feel enjoyed. Like my ASMR channel. I have 300,000 followers. I have more followers there than here. I have videos over there that got like 10 million views. One of them has 20 million views. But I don't enjoy it. You know, I'm one of those people that I will keep on going and doing my best and forgetting the rest, you know. So before you say, oh, you're not the, you're not, you're not successful. Oh, you're so cocky. I'm like, no, I've been doing this for enough years to really feel proud of everything I've accomplished. Um, and the good and the bad, someone who asks about regrets, I don't regret anything. Do you miss any of your exes? Um, no. I mean, every once in a while I might think like, oh, what would have life have been like if I stayed with them? And I think all of us feel this way when we, you know, imagine or even fantasize. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. Actually, now that I look back, I'm like, ooh, I don't really like that much with any of them. But, <laughs> sorry if any of them are watching. I really did it. It wasn't, no. But, so we all think, like, what would have life been like? You know? What would life have had been like? You don't know. And it's not for you to know, because it wasn't meant to be. Oh, can you please post videos with Orlin? I love you. Hi, Caitlin. Um, Orlin's not here. Um, I'm new to your content. I was wondering what made you do a mukbangs. I love to eat. This comes from Montanero. Oh, did I shout out the last person? Caitlin Golden. Um, how do you deal with so much hate? I don't really deal with it. I just did an interview for James Marriott and he's like, how do you deal with the haters? I'm like, I don't. <laughs> I don't. And, there, and the reason I said that, I'll say here in case you didn't see the interview, I said, I don't read it. I don't read it, I don't watch it, I don't, cons I don't like, I let it plague my mind. I have so much to do, so many channels. I, If I sat and watched every hate video about me, there's, I think I talked about to him, there's like 600 videos made about me every month. Probably even more that I just don't happen to know about. I mean, it's not like I know about all of them, but I'm saying in a given day, I'll type my name into the search bar, do videos posted today, and it'll be like 50 people. Could you imagine if I watched all of them and had to think about all of them and respond to all of them and... You know what I mean? It's like, I, that's, why I, that's why I don't answer my DMs on Instagram. Because if I had to answer all 300 DMs every day, 
and every DM takes, you know, a minute or two. What's two minutes times 300? Hey, Siri. Uh -huh. <gasps> She's a girl. She's a girl. Um, Siri, um, what is 300 times two? 300 times two hey, is 600. Oh. Hey, Siri, how many hours are in 600 minutes? 600 minutes is 10 hours. It would take me 10 hours to respond. Look, you see what I'm talking about? On my site for the 18 year olds, the legally consenting ones, um, I've spent easily four or five hours in a day just responding to people, just giving them time back. It's an office job. I, I And if I don't, they'll unsubscribe or they'll leave or they won't renew their subscription. Like they want that connection. They want my time. They want me to learn their name. I don't have time to learn, you know, everything, and especially if it's negative. So that's how I deal with haters. I don't read it. I don't look at it. I don't care. Sometimes I care, but a lot of it's acne to get views. Like, oh, no, God, the person said be. But sometimes it is very triggering. So um, I've almost deleted my channel when I was in Colombia when the people were really going after me. And that was before I had practiced dealing with the criticism. I had no healthy way of getting through that. So... Yeah, and sometimes I still get I still get, I still get wrapped up in it, <sighs> especially if they're going after Orlin. It really makes me feel sad. Um, but again, the best way to live a happy life is not to willfully subject yourself to things that are making you sad. It's like saying, "Oh my God, I don't like this TV show. It makes me have anxiety." And then every day after work, I come home and I watch the TV show that gives me anxiety. Like. That's my own fault, okay? There's always going to be off people in the world, off things, haters. I have tens of thousands of them. I'm not going to subject myself willingly to watch it or give them... Why do, they, why do they need my attention? I don't even know who they are. It's odd to me that they even care enough to know what I'm doing. Like, who am I to you? <laughs> it's just bored people online. That's what it is. Bored people on the internet. So I don't, um, I don't connect. I don't engage. And uh, it keeps me living... It's how I'm able to show up every day and run 50 videos a month and a site where I respond to every person and do Instagram and do Twitter and do live stream and start a Patreon and, and have a husband. Well, who knows what's going to happen there, but have to keep the house clean, have to do my laundry, have to live, just live like, um, I don't have that much free time. So I don't have much free time. Like when I go to collaborate, I mean, boom, that is a big thing that, you know, if I'm getting on an airplane and getting hotels and it's a few times a year, it's very selective. It's because it, it asks so much of the everything going on. So, <sighs> so that's how I deal with haters. I love your channel. No matter what you do, I'll be here. Oh, thank you. Um, Islam. Achilia. Hello, Islam Achilia. Um, well, I hope you still <laughs> don't be like a blind sheep. I, you know, I, I, I always get sad when I see other people doing that to other YouTubers. Like everything they do, it's like, yes, bah, I love him. It's like, no, he just took a photo of someone dead in the, in the forest in Japan. Let's, let's at least say that was bad. You know, like, you know, I don't want, I don't want the type of followers that do that. Luckily, I don't really have too many of those that, you know, when I F up, they're all like, oh, Nick, I love you. But that was wrong. You know, make sure you say you're sorry. So I do, um, please, um, why are you so underrated? I was a fan since 2016. Hi, Adelina. Um, am I underrated? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if you could travel in time three years ago, what would you say to yourself? This comes from Kimi Ri. I'm trying to think of what I would say to myself. If I could look at myself in the future and be like, okay, I would, um, what would I do? I don't know. Oh my God, I don't even know. I can't think, I can't think of anything, honestly. I don't know. I don't regret anything with Orlin. I don't regret going to Columbia. I don't regret coming to Florida. I don't regret doing mukbangs. I don't regret anything, anything. Even my biggest drama that happened last winter. You all know about that one, remember that one? I don't regret that because it still also like put me in check. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> If I'm angry, don't send a text because they might turn it into something else. Like, you know, okay, let's try not to text angrily anymore. You know, it's, everything has been a lesson. Everything has been check, you know, like everything has been a blessing, really. So I don't know what I would say. I would say make sure you have a plan to get skinny again. Because <laughs> you're going to get fat. 
We're almost 300 pounds over here. What's your favorite movie this year? Hi, Destiny. I don't watch movies. I don't have time. I don't even have cable. I have a TV. The last time I turned on my TV was to watch um, the Democratic debate between Bernie and Joe Biden. And I, even, I, I can't even get through that. But I, I, did, I loved watching when it had like uh, Amy and uh, Pete and Yang Gang. Hi, Yang Gang. Uh, that was really cool. And I don't want to go into politics. I'm not saying I agree with everything they've ever said. Um, I, I also watch the Democratic debates when they take place. But um, I love both. And I... That's the last time. That was like three months ago. Four months. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't watch TV. I don't even know why I have a TV. <laughs> I got it um, around, what was it, Black Friday? What was it? Cyber Monday. Uh, Orlin got it, I think. I can't remember. Oh, it was so many months ago. I know we got it on sale. I can't remember. Because he's the one that picked it out. Oh, remember I kept talking about I want a TV that could go to my phone. You guys, I don't even use it. I kind of feel bad about that. That was kind of like, if I could get my money back, I would. <laughs> there, there is something I regret. Spending money on a TV that I don't use. <laughs> oh. I don't know what that question means. Sorry, we're going to skip that one. Um, how do I get over my ex? This comes from Toxifo. Um, took a long time to get over mine. Took six months get over mine um and how i did it was having friends having a life getting out of the house i was in college and i really had to just immerse myself with the musicians um just being busy and having purpose if you have no purpose you are gonna dwell in everything forever and i lost a sense of purpose i gave i my happiness came from my ex it didn't come from myself and that's why when, when i fell in love with orlin I don't want to start crying. Hold on. <laughs> but I bet Orlin, I was so happy. I wasn't expecting love. I wasn't even looking for it. I was working on myself, my career, being a violinist, doing my thing. Um, so to get over it is you got to work on yourself, love yourself, treat yourself, eat really well, exercise, get those grades good. I was in college. I was trying to get those great, my violin, everything. Um, that's how you get over it. Do you actually eat avocados? This comes from Ryan Thu13. Hello. Yes, I do. Um, I try to eat at least one avocado every single day, but sometimes it comes out to two. So as you guys see from my Instagram stories, I buy produce by the case to save a couple of dollars. Sometimes you save up to like five, six dollars. It's really worth it if you eat it all. If you let it have the case rot, then you're actually wasting money and resources. So, but um, I don't know. Again, I don't know what's going on with me in Orland because um, he would also help me eat it. I don't think I can eat all that. But I would do, actually recently we did a half a case of avocados because we couldn't, even together as a couple, couldn't eat the whole case because it would come out to like three avocados per person every day because they all ripened at the same time. So, ugh. This video is over. I have nothing else to say. Um, <clears throat> that's my video. We're going to have one little last piece over here to have a bite. Hmm. One more last piece right here to have a bite. Mmm!